Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to factory reset your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air or normal MacBook running macOS Catalina. If you're using uh, older macOS versions, you can still follow this tutorial but the process might be slightly different and if you're running newer macOS versions, I will have an updated tutorial on this so make sure you are subscribed. So the first step is you're going to open up the Boot Camp Assistant, search up Boot Camp, and then you see right here Boot Camp Assistant, we're going to click on Enter, and we just need to remove our Boot Camp um, hard drive, so we'll click on Continue, and you can see right here, Remove Boot Camp, we'll click on re uh, Restore, we'll use our Touch ID, and now it will remove the Boot Camp partition. Keep in mind, if you haven't installed Boot Camp on your MacBook, you do not need to do this step. Leave this window open and let's go to the next step because we're going to go into system preferences right here and you're just going to open up and you're going to find the Apple ID button. So click on Apple ID. Now you're going to find the overview button and you're going to click on sign out. I'm going to click on, um, you know, I'm just going to disable these options essentially and I'm going to click on continue and I'm going to click on delete from this Mac. Now, the process of signing out will start. If you have Find My Mac enabled, then what's going to happen is you will need to enter in your password to your Apple ID one more time. And if you can't remember this, keep in mind that once you factory reset your MacBook, it's going to ask for your Apple ID and password. And if you don't know, uh, don't know that, you're not going to be able to use your MacBook anymore. Therefore, I advise you don't factory reset your MacBook. Um, you can see right here, our boot camp um, removal has finished, so we can quit out of that. And keep in mind, signing out, it will take quite a bit of time. I don't know why, but even if your internet speed is ultra fast, it still takes a long time. Now, before we proceed with doing the factory reset, keep in mind that you should back up all of your files. I've already done this. You see I have a new MacBook Pro right here, so I advise you do that. So the next step is we're going to hold the power button now until we hear this noise. You hear it? There you go. Sometimes we'll make a whoosh, uh, if the MacBook just turns off. That's the important part. Now we need to wait 10 seconds before we proceed. So now we're going to essentially do this. We're going to hold the power button down for one second and we're going to hold the command key and the R key together. This will enter us into internet recovery. But keep this in mind with internet recovery. If your internet cuts out at all while reinstalling the new macOS version, which is what it is going to do, do note that there is a possibility that you'll get an error code. And what you need to do is you need to repeat the process from shutting off and turning on the MacBook to reinstall the operating system, right? So we're going to hold power button now for one second. So one. And then we're going to hold the commands and R key together. Now, depending on uh, which macOS version you have, there'll be a bunch of things that show up. For me, I'm going to see the Apple logo. I'm going to see a progress bar. So I'm going to be brought to internet recovery. For you, you might not see the Apple logo or you won't see a progress bar and you'll be brought straight into internet recovery. So we're going to hold down the commands and R keys together until we are brought into internet recovery. Now, this does take a bit longer and then um, boosting up the Mac uh, device normally, so just keep that in mind. But again, if you're brought into the internet recovery phase, you will need to connect your Wi-Fi network and it will probably need to reinstall the entire operating system. But we will see, because I haven't actually um, done the factory set on this MacBook personally, but I have done it on my uh, my 2013 MacBook Pro. So that is um, why I'm mentioning that stuff. So there we go. We can now release commands and R. And we are brought to this white page right here. Let's have a look. And it seems like it's going to start doing the internet recovery process. So brought into here. And you see right here, macOS recovery right here. And what we're going to do is check this out. We're going to click on reinstall macOS. So thankfully, we didn't actually need to reinstall the entire macOS operating system. Like, you know a full download it seems like we didn't have the internet recovery page so that's quite nice so just make sure right we go to this utility so we'll click on continue 
and we want to fully erase this hard drive right so we're going to find uh the one which has the highest storage so i forgot this is a terabyte macbook pro <laughs> so let's have a look this has this is the right one this is the terabyte one so you can see right here three four hundred fifty nine um other volumes five hundred twenty nine in fact we're gonna have to um interesting we're gonna erase both of them so we're gonna erase this one right here and we'll just leave it as that and we'll just delete that volume and we'll take a bit of time so in that instance there it was um split into um two drives and that was a bit confusing but it's all good we're going to delete the other one now right here and now we should be all good so we'll delete the volume beautiful so now all of our data has been outright removed you can see three 998 gigabytes and same with this one right here so all of our data has now been successfully erased so we're going to click on the close we're now going to click on reinstall mac os we'll click on continue right here we'll click on continue and it says an internet connection is required to install mac os so we'll click on ok and we're going to see the wi-fi tab we just need to connect to our wi-fi network so i'm going to type that in Okay, and we'll click on join. We'll just wait for our Wi-Fi network to be fully connected. So, beautiful. It seems like it's connected. So now we're going to click on continue. And it's going to reinstall macOS. So we'll click on continue again. Um, wait for this. And again, do you remember that um, if your internet cuts out, for like over 10 seconds or something you have to redo this process do not worry it, it will work right um seems like it's a bit frozen here but it should get back to work very soon there we go we'll click on agree we'll click on agree and um doesn't really matter which one i advise you just choose the macintosh hd click on install and now the process will start. So we can see the timer right here and it will say how long is left. Um, after this, really, you're gonna be brought to the setup screen. Now, I don't really wanna hold my device for 32 minutes. So um, I'm just gonna end this tutorial here, but keep in mind, device must be plugged in because if it shuts down the process will fail and that's all there is to it so um that is how to factory reset your mac west catalina macbook air macbook and macbook pro thankfully you know they all share you know the same keyboard layout with the commands key so the commands are the exact same uh, you might be like does this work on the us uh, uk keyboard only no it also works on the us keyboard um so there you go hopefully you enjoyed my uh, short tutorial and I'll see you uh, next time.